Hello YouTube, Senator Silver, doing a video on my Mercury Dime collection. Um, I want to start with the uh, display album. Uh, this is a really neat display album. I think it's going to change the way we store our coins. Uh, this album allows you to store the coins in your airtight capsules and then place those into this album. And you can see both the obverse and reverse of each coin in the album. So this is the um, obviously the the front of the album. I'll go ahead and turn the page and you'll see what I'm talking about um, here in just a moment. Now on my Mercury Dime collection, I have 99% of all of them. I am missing that elusive 1916D and you'll see uh, there's a blank spot for that, but um, I will be getting that one and a couple of more. This album actually has some of the Mercury Dimes that I was unaware of as we get to the last page, but I'll share these with you very quickly. Uh, moving right along, we start with the 1916. Now that 1916D there, that is actually a blank hole. And what is coming through that hole is another dime on the next page. So I don't have the 16D, but I do have all of them um, on this page except that one. And I'm not going to read all of them to you. I'll just briefly scan these. That goes all the way to 1917D on the first line and then 17S all the way through to 1919. Then we have 19D all the way to 1920S. And then 1921, 1921D. Now you'll notice for those that aren't really into the constitutional silver or, or numismatics, the U.S. Mint did not produce a mercury dime in 1922. So that's why there it goes from 21D all the way now. We jump to 23, 23S, and then 24. And then on the same page, 24D, and it goes all the way to 25S. And then rounding out the bottom row of the first page, 26, all the way to 27D. Now when you turn the page over, it'll, and pardon my jumping around, you can now see the other side of the coins we just went over. Now you'll notice the 1916D is blank. There's obviously not a coin going through that. So this is the, the um, other side of reverse of those coins. And then the second page, again, we start with the um, 1927S, and I'll briefly go through these. And then 29D all the way on the second row to 31. Then 31D, 31S. Then you'll notice 1932 and 1933. Once again, the U.S. Mint did not produce or mint a mercury dime in 1932 or 1933, and um, it picks up again in 1934. So we have 1934, 1934D, and then 1935. Then the next row, it begins with 35D. Very briefly, I'm going through these. All the way to 36S, and then 37, 37D, 37S, 38, 38D, and then rounding out the bottom row of the second page, 38S, 39, 39D, 39S, and 40. And then I'll turn the page, and again, you will, you'll be able to see the back side of each of these coins as well. And then the last page, which is interesting, um, you start with 1940D, 1940S, 1941, 1941D, 1941S. I do not have the 1942 over 41. And then there's the 1942. And then I do not have the 42 over 41D. Then there's the 42D, the 42S, 1943. 43D, 43S, 44, 1944D, 44S, 1945, 1945D, 1945S, 
Now, this one is an unusual coin and took me forever to find it, but it, there is a 1945 S Micro S, which I do have. And then the rest of these holes are just blanks to fill out the page. There's no mercury dime that goes in these. So a very quick, unprofessional, I might add, shaky video, but I wanted to share the mercury dimes. So I need the 1916D, the 1942 over 41, and then the 1942 over 41D to complete the entire collection. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something.